right, hello all. This is Darren Chang, and I'm here to take a look at a photo-specific bag here. And it's called the Photocross 13, made by Mindshift. So let's take a look around this little guy and see what it has to offer to the photographer. Let's first start off with showing you that this is actually not a backpack. This is a sling bag. And like all sling bags, it goes sort of over your shoulder and over your head, like so. And the convenience of having a sling bag as a camera bag is that you can simply spin the bag around like this and then get access to the main compartment, like so. And you don't have all your camera equipment dumping out all over the ground. You can actually keep it all nice and contained in the bag and pull out your camera, put your lens cap down here, switch lenses. Everything is very easily accessible. And then you can go ahead and close it all up, swing it out of the way, put it on your back, and it's a pretty comfortable way to carry fairly heavy loads. So let's take a look specifically at this suspension system. It's pretty lightweight. We're not talking about a huge bag, so that means the suspension system itself doesn't need to be too padded and robust. And yet, this is a pretty comfortable suspension system. It's been cut very well, so it's shaped to make it very comfortable, despite the fact that it's not very thick and it doesn't have a whole lot of padding here. It is fully adjustable, and so I myself, I'm six feet tall, 180 pounds, and it fits me pretty nicely, but I could imagine that this would fit somebody much bigger and much smaller than I am, just by adjusting these straps right here. And you have some weight load bearing straps to make it more comfortable. And then the area that's sort of your the hip side also is fully adjustable as well. The back of both the hip area and the shoulder strap is mesh to allow it to be more breathable so you don't get a lot of sweat building up on your shoulders and on your back. And then the back itself, as you can see here, also is mesh so it allows for some ventilation. You will notice too, that there is a waist belt here, and this just stabilizes the load. If you happen to be climbing up rocks or running around and all over the place, you want to have something that stabilizes it so the back doesn't bounce around off your back. Um, you do have to unclip this, though, to swing the bag around. So let me demonstrate what I mean by that. Okay, so right now you can see that I'm wearing the bag, and it's, it's on my back back there, and I do have the hip strap or the waist belt attached. Now, if I tried to swing this around, you can see here that I'm not going to be able to because this waist belt is on me. So you have to first unclip the waist belt so that you can then swing it around, which does mean that your waist belt might be hanging and getting caught on your sleeve like that, might be hanging around. So that's something you just want to be aware of. But you can also choose to tuck this waist belt away. And I'll talk more about that in just a moment. Some nice details that you should be paying attention to when it comes to this bag you'll see that they have these elastic bands that wrap around the actual loose ends of the straps. So that keeps the loose ends of the straps from flopping all over the place. So you see that on the main strap that's associated with the sling, and you also see that associated with the waist belt. On either side of the waist belt, there's a little piece of elastic webbing here that keeps it so that these things don't get caught flopping all over the place, um, getting stuck in the car door, etc. As I alluded to earlier, this waist belt can be fairly easily removed. There's a clip here and a piece of webbing loop, and you simply squeeze the clip. Uh, there you go, squeeze it, lift this whole thing off, and then you can go ahead and ball this up and stuff it in a small little zippered pocket here. A little hard to access, but you can stuff it in there if you don't want the waist belt getting in your way. Voila! Okay, so let's take a look and see what's on the other parts of this bag before we get into the interior. On this side, you can see here that we have a good size water bottle pocket. This is going to be able to carry even large Nalgene bottles. It's pretty deep as well, but you could use this to put your tripod in as well. So you could slide the feet of your tripod. The legs obviously would extend out further from this pocket here, but it would keep the legs all stabilized in there. And then you could actually put this lash strap that you see here along the front. This is also movable. And you could move this to this area up here. All right, so then you could connect your tripod across the top 
while the bottom feet are held in place by this water bottle pocket. So it could serve two purposes there. You should know too that MindShift doesn't just give you one of these, you get two of these lash straps and multiple webbing points where you can attach them. So you can see here that I have a couple webbing points out here or up top here, the two that I just mentioned before, as well as the ones that you can see the lash strap is currently attached to. On the top of the bag, there's a convenient grab handle, nothing too cushy. You wouldn't want to carry this for more than about, you know, 500 yards or so, because frankly, it would start to dig into your hands, but it's convenient. You can be able to, you could grab this and put it in the passenger seat beside you. And then there's also another one of these grab handles here on the side, although in some sense, this is the top when you're holding it in front of you, um, also to be able to do the same thing. So it's very easy to be able to grab this pack in many different places. Nice convenience there, nice touches that MindShift offers. The underside of the pack is a much heavier weight tarpaulin. It certainly feels like it's waterproof, although I'm not sure if the seams are actually taped and waterproof, but certainly if you put this down temporarily on wet ground, your gear is going to be protected. In general, the material, even on the front and the sides, it's pretty stout material. I could imagine that this is going to last for a long time and you'd probably, you know, pass this down to your kids. This thing is, is well made and well put together. Okay, so let's take a look at what's going on in the inside. Right here, this pocket, there's, it's, you unzip it here with this waterproof zipper. This is a, it must be a YKK zipper. They have the Monopoly and everything. One of the things that you should really note here, and I'll zoom in on this, is that these zipper pulls are awesome. This, it looks like a little mini ice ax. And you can grab this thing with the heaviest weight gloves possible, mittens probably as well. And it really does give you a lot more leverage and you can easily work the zippers, no problem. And the zippers themselves are stout enough that they can take you really cranking on them. So. Nice design there by MindShift. So inside of this pocket, this is the front pocket here. The extent of the pocket is the what you see in gray, essentially here. That's the size of the pocket, so it's pretty good size. Um, it's not terribly, it's, you know, the, it has some volume to it, but not a heck of a lot. So don't expect that you're going to be able to put, let's say, a camera body very easily into here. It's mostly going to be for those flat things. Maybe you have batteries, your cell phone, your wallet, a couple of uh, cliff bars or something like that. So it's a good convenient storage space. And inside of this area here, there are going to be, there are two zippered, no not zippered, sorry. There are two pockets that are held in with single little plackets of Velcro on either side. One of the pockets is a square and I would say it's probably about, eh, I'd say about six inches by six inches. You know what? It's not quite a square. Maybe seven inches by six inches. So it's wider than it is deep. And then the other one is indeed a square. It looks like it's more of a six by six. All right. So, um, you know, it's not a ton of organization. There are no pen slots in here. It's just two pockets and then a big gaping area for a bunch of other things. And then you also have the, the key clip. And I've Never found these to be terrifically useful, but it's there in case you want it. I probably would just take some scissors and go, goodbye. So let's take a look inside the main compartment. You should know that the main compartment, this, this whole thing, is it's able to keep its shape even if it's not packed with gear. And that's one thing to keep in mind, that you would want that to be the case for a camera bag because being stout and stiff like this means it's going to protect your gear. And the back itself has a very stiff, it feels like there must be a plastic sheet in there that allows this to keep itself nice and, and uh, stable. And then the whole thing has padding throughout so that uh, if you were to tap here, you're not gonna be directly smashing into your camera lens. All right, so let's take a look. This is, again, it has this wonderful zipper pull and it's got this orange zipper as a, a reversible waterproof zipper, water resistant zipper. And this flops away from you when you're wearing it against you, which is really nice because frankly, it's a big pain if it was done the other way, right? Your body sort of prevents you from being able to flop this over and then it would just flop back down, right? So the fact that it, it opens away from you, you can sort of go past that point so that it stays open. And you'll see that this area right here, there are two mesh pockets and you can get access 
with the zippers that are here. Now, the cool thing about this design is that they have the zippers sort of running in, I don't know, the opposite direction. The bottom line is you can unzip one of the pockets and get access to it without unzipping the other pocket and having it so that maybe you would dump out all the contents of one pocket while accessing the other, um, which is kind of a smart thing. I mean, it's not, it's, it's not like Einstein genius or anything, but it's a simple design thing where they really did think about it when they were putting this bag together. Most of the time you would have a single zipper, right? It would go all the way across, and if you wanted to go to this pocket, you couldn't help but have that pocket open and potentially dumping stuff out at the same time. Obviously, what you could do is just have two separate zippers, but MindShift didn't want the extra zipper in there, so just make one zipper with zippers that flow in the opposite direction. Kind of cool. All right, and then you can see the interior of this bag here. It has, no surprise here, the back wall and the front wall have the, um, I guess we call that the loop, the loop of the hook and loop material. And each of these dividers in here have the hook side on the little wings here. So you can adjust this, you can customize this to fit your gear. And in fact, for me, because I do mostly videography, I don't even use these guys, I just remove them, right? And it allows me, oh, hey, that was really in there. It allows me to then put my gimbal and my, uh, my micro four thirds camera into here all in one, which is really handy. So. Um, I just use it as the big open space for me, but they give you not only these two larger dividers to separate it into thirds, but they also give you a couple of little dividers, so if you want to stack lenses on top of each other, etc., you can do that. So nice of them to give you some extra stuff. Um, and then you'll notice that on the back wall, the wall that faces me right now or faces your back when you're wearing it, there's a slot for a 12 or a 13 inch. Let me look. All right, so there's a space for a 13 inch laptop. Hmm, seems small. I'll have to trust them on that. It could very easily fit a regular size iPad, certainly an iPad mini, an iPad that's one of the 9.7 inches, maybe the 10.3 Pros would fit in there, a, a full 12.9 inch Pro. Let me check and see if that will work. Let me grab mine and see. Okay, here I have my iPad Pro. And it is, you know, under 13 inches. So if you can fit a 13 inch laptop, it should be able to accommodate this. Oh, ho, 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 look at that. Just fits. This is sticking out a little bit, but it looks like it clears the zipper. So that's pretty sweet, actually, that I can fit my iPad Pro in there. Never would have thought. Cool. Okay, so, oh, uh, one thing I did want to point out, I think this is actually kind of brilliant. Let me put on the bag so I can show you how well this works. Okay, so here I have the bag, it's in front of me. Oftentimes what happens is these zippers, as you're trying to zip them, there's nothing to grab onto in order to get it to zip. And you know, if you have a lot of stuff in here, it might work, you know, there might be some resistance. So having to grab onto this to zip it up is kind of a pain. Well, my chip decided to put this little tab here of who knows what the hell this is. It's some tough material. But notice where they put it. They put it right down here. So you can grab onto it and use it as leverage to zip this thing closed. Cool, really smart. This is the kind of detail that I think is, you know, that tells you how much and how thoughtful MindShift is in making these things. That's good. That really makes life of a photographer so much easier when you have little doodads like that. They may not seem like much, but um, I think they are. They're cool. I would say that if I'm just going on on a day hike and I have you know, my minimal maybe two lens and a single body, this would be great because I could throw in some snacks. Probably wouldn't bring my iPad Pro. I'm not sure why that would be necessary, but um, I think this does a nice job of carrying your camera equipment. And again, super well made with smart details and good materials. Okay, I hope this helped. So take a look at my other videos. I look at crossover day packs at uh, briefcases slash shoulder bags, as well as a whole bunch of other different types and forms of photo-specific bags.